Which technology trends are, are over and which are under hybrid? I think the, the Jamstack sort of helps on the front end um, and serverless functions and things too. Like you can do a lot of, you can do a lot in like 50 lines of code in a serverless function. So that, mm -hmm. that, that sort of really helps. Um, I'm not sure if that's sort of overhyping or just sort of assisting. Um, obviously like, like the adoption of sort of cloud, um, like AWS, that kind of thing has sort of helped like bring down the barriers. Um, I'm trying to think of something that was like, is like overhyping. I feel like microservices maybe in, in and of mm -hmm. themselves, like this, the, the concept of size of a service is a bit of hype. Like it's, it helps to have a conversation between the difference between a monolith and a microservice, but yep. like, each product and service is is of a different size. Like you look at commerce tools, it's a it's a suite of services. For example, mm -hmm. uh, yes, they could be microservices. You could also think of commerce tools as a whole entity that it's kind of like a macro service. Yep. Like there's lots of microservices together. They're not necessarily like a full monolith, but they're kind of some quasi sort of in between. Um, and as products mature and get bigger, like they get more features and more services sort of added. So that's kind of why I guess you're seeing sort of the rise of the term like composable commerce which is sort of mm -hmm. we had a we had a vote internally it's a good story behind this we had a vote internally like i think it was like mid late 2018 early 2019 sort of what would sort of be the next thing after sort of mac mm -hmm. architecture as an industry term and we had a vote uh, between um, open commerce and composable commerce and our engineering team preferred composable commerce um, mm -hmm. and i think obviously that's been pitched to the analysts now and i think everyone's sort of on the same page it's sort of like, again sort of mutual discovery and things and Gartner has trademarked the term composable commerce and everyone's talking about composable commerce now. So that's kind of, <laughs> it's funny to see sort of the genesis of a term and sort of how it kind of goes into the market and things. Gotcha. So that was, that was how Molten was going to kind of compete against commerce tools like Mac versus composable. And we were trying to remove the sizeism from the equation, but I feel like uh, it, the, some of the terminology of what, the, what we were trying to bake into that term has been watered down in the delivery and execution mm -hmm. of that from not just like Molten Elastic Path, but from everybody, everyone is able to adopt that term now. Um, so it's, it's almost like headless. It loses its meaning a little bit along the way, and a bit unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, I, I feel like that's kind of what's great about the the Mac alliances. They've got like criteria for entry, um, yep. and it feels like something sort of needs to like, exist. Um, like maybe there's something beyond sort of composable that needs to exist. Um, like again, gotcha. like, more, more acronyms, probably more things for people to be to be confused about. <laughs> <laughs>